Welcome to day two of Vlogmas 2020, where I am vlogging every day in December leading up to Christmas. I am now at the boys barn and there has been a number of changes over here to the barn itself and to some new features that I am adding. So let me show you their barn. All right, now excuse the mess. My tractor is giving me troubles. So it's dirtier than I want it to be. But I'll try and find an image of the barn from before. The most noticeable difference is that the floor is much lower and you can see that there's still some uh, dirt around the posts and what we found is now this barn was built uh, let's see maybe four years ago yeah let's stick with four years ago <laughs> something like that and it at the time i didn't really think things through in terms of its construction uh, and back then i did not have a tractor so every spring, I was having a friend of mine come with his skid steer to clean it out. And that's all I was thinking. I was like, well, he can get in there and clean it out. It'll all be fine. Well, we got our tractor, and we couldn't get the tractor in there to clean it out. And what I do in the winter is the deep bedding system in that I use straw for the bedding, you know, um, and I just keep layering and layering the straw over the winter. Um, as it breaks down, it creates a little heat, um, but it also covers up the poop that's in there, which is breaking down as well. So come spring, there it's quite deep in the deep bedding, which is why it's called that. And um, it's, it's very difficult to clean by hand. Uh, there was one barn at the first place that I used here um, when I first moved to Nebraska, had to clean that out but once by hand and it was not fun. So you definitely want to use a skid steer, a tractor, something uh, mechanical to help you out because it is a stinky, heavy mess. And our solution to being able to clean this out ourselves with the tractor was to lower the floor. One issue I was having with my friend with the skid steer is his schedule. Um, it, this barn has never been cleaned out as early in the year as I want it to be. I like it to be cleaned out in April, giving us at least a month before shearing time. So we get all of the straw and stuff away. We, we uh, clean up the area around their barn and, and their dry lot area so that come shearing, they have minimal amount of VM on them as opposed to this right here. <laughs> Okay, when well, you don't have a clean environment for them, come shearing time, you're dealing with this in your sheared fleece. Thank you, Roman. That was a great example. <laughs> so, yeah, we lowered, we had my friend with a skid steer come and actually take, you could see feet, I don't know how many feet, of dirt. Now, this was at an angle where this side was taller. Um, the floor is now pretty level, but we're on a slight hill here. Uh, a benefit of doing this besides being able to clean this out on our own with the tractor is that all that dirt got relocated out here. And so where we only had barely the width of a tractor to get past the barn, we have all of that that extends out. It makes it so much easier to use this area. Love, love, love that. So as you can tell, there's still a few things to do here. Uh, still got to deal with those posts. <laughs> but the, the next project is the water tank. It used to sit right here because this was right 
here because this was divided. I had my younger boys here in this section and then my intact older boys over here in these two sections. Um, if you remember that we used to have this barn split um, for those two groups. This pasture is actually not being used right now. Um, it is at rest. It needed to rest and I just, it came to the point where I was able to mix these two groups um, and so now they're all one big group of 19 and we completely opened up the barn. Well, we moved the water tank out, which is right over here, in order to clean out the barn. So this is a temporary place, and you can see what mess they have done. <laughs> this happens because they're eating the bale. They have bits of hay sticking out of their mouth when they come over to get a drink, and they drop it in the water. I do have goldfish in there that help eat that stuff and keep the water clean although it's been a challenge having it sit out in the sun being clean you cannot see the bottom like you used to be able to but like I said this is temporary so we are going to move the water tank in the back corner I'm going to wrap it with some insulation and you see what's uh, out there the blue tarps underneath there are three solar panels and I have that to, actually the wind has blown some of that tarp off. I'll have to go fix that. But that is going to power a de-icer. Yeah, it actually is going to power a de-icer for the water tank sitting back here in the corner. Um, we're gonna have the panel on the back wall there of all the components to run um, that system. So in future videos, you will see that. And then we're going to wrap the barn like we have in past years. And each year we've used different type of material, but basically we're gonna enclose the barn as best we can, meaning we're gonna wrap the lean-to and leave an opening right here in the middle for them to get in, come in and out. And that's pretty much the openings last time were on either side of this post because we had the two groups. So probably uh, we'll have just an opening right here. Um, <clears throat> and that water tank will sit in the back uh, where it will, will stay warm. And this year, there will be no chuck and ice out of the water. Thank you for joining us on day two of Vlogmas 2020. I will see you tomorrow.